home. If this is one of the pillars of my foundation, what does home mean? What is it? Is it just the apartment that I'm in? Is it the things that are around me? The people? It's a weird accumulation, I think, of all these things. When I think of home, it's the place where I go back to my spirituality time and time again. It's what I pull on. It's the apartment where I feel safe, where I can take a time, light some incense, and just relax. It's the place where I feel most inspired, where I do the most creative things, where I cook good meals. Home has that sense of relief to it. But when I think about my past in other places that felt so much like home, it wasn't necessarily the apartment that did it for me. When I was in Chicago, there's a certain highway that drives under the stock exchange building and the minute we drove under that tunnel I could like it just felt so electric. Uh, San Francisco it was crossing the Bay Bridge and here I hadn't quite felt that yet and then I realized I did every single day when I walk around the city when I take walks in the woods so much of this place is less of my apartment feeling like home and more so the whole city which is good <laughs> and should feel like home. And so there are certain things habit-wise that need to, I think, be created to found, keep that, right? So one thing is taking care of the place where I do the things, doing the dishes, just tidying up around the house, keeping things as clean and organized as possible. Clean environment equals a clean mind things like that. Also reminding myself that even if it is just lighting a bit of incense, lighting a candle, holding a crystal for a few minutes in the morning or while I'm working, to work magic daily in my space so it feels like it has my energy constantly exerting into it. And then it's also to remember that it's not just the apartment and it's not just necessarily the outdoors or you know the people that I'm surrounding with so much of it is all of that together that if I find a certain feeling a comfort in a coffee shop around the corner or in walking through the woods or in just enjoying the outdoor patio or you know just sitting at a bar with friends it's not so much of just my apartment it is the entire city and then also acknowledging, all within the same time, that part of the reason a home is a home is the collection of memories there. There were hundreds and thousands of memories collected over my lifetime of growing up in Chicago. There was a huge amount of memories collected in the Bay Area as I lived there for three years, and another collection even of Phoenix living there in the desert for a while. And so, so much of home, I think, is the collection of memories of just bits and pieces of feeling that relief, of that belonging, of that spiritual, spiritual connection to place. Just add them up slowly, surely, until suddenly it all accumulates into a feeling of home. So sometimes it just kind of takes time too. Anyway, that's part one of parts of my foundation. Part two will be coming to you tomorrow. And I'll see you then.